Everyone is getting on the hype bandwagon when it comes to sodium battery technology in the last few months. We've now learned that CATL and BYD, the two biggest battery companies in the world, are going to be putting electric cars on the road that use sodium batteries. And, you know, we were all thinking it would just be used for energy storage. Well, it turns out we were very, very wrong. This will absolutely change the game for these companies who will be able to produce batteries at a much lower cost. Why? Well, because when these companies first started developing sodium batteries, the cost of lithium was a fraction of what it is today. And it's still, they still said, the batteries would cost 30% less than the lithium iron phosphate battery packs. But now, now we're starting to learn that this game-changing technology is more than, game-changer is an understatement. At certain researchers have actually been able to develop a battery which is commercially viable, sodium battery that has four times higher energy density than lithium ion batteries. Mind blown. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, I'll put some links in the description below to the videos I've made about sodium batteries. Now, I made a video about a year ago about sodium battery technology, which I think has been viewed a couple hundred thousand times now. It was the most popular video on the channel there for a while, and it was talking about how sodium batteries would be a game changer. Now, I guess that um, I was right, because frankly, Four times high energy density? I mean, if this is really true, which it appears it is, that would mean it would make commercial aircraft 100% completely viable, cheaper to operate, cheaper to run, safer, and completely clean. It would change almost every industry in the world incredibly quickly. There is plenty of sodium on the planet. Or is there? I have a new video coming about that. And before I go on, big thank you to our Patreon supporters, YouTube members, both of you help support the channel. Thank you so much for doing what you do. I'll be at Fully Charged Live in Sydney in, in March. I want to see all of you there. That'd be great. Or as many as possible of you that can make it. I'll be at the Fully Charged Live show in London the following month in April. And then I'll be at the Fully Charged show in San Diego in October. I'm actually really excited to meet as many of you as possible and also to reveal some information that I've been working on, which is looking at the real financial health of these car companies and how far along they are in their development cycles for EVs, production ability, which ones of them will go bankrupt because there's got to be some. I'm going to talk about that at the show. Make sure you come. An international team of scientists eyeing next generation energy technology and energy storage solutions have demonstrated an eco-friendly and low cost battery with truly mind-blowing potential. I mean, utterly world-changing potential. I don't think I've ever used that phrase before, but it's really relevant right now. The group's novel sodium sulfur battery design offers a four-fold increase in energy capacity compared to a typical lithium ion battery and shapes as an incredibly promising technology for future grid-scale energy storage. And while contrary to what we used to believe, also for electric cars. I really didn't think this would happen. I, in fact, I thought it would just be energy storage, but now we're seeing this kind of energy density, this kind of energy capacity, and it's changing the way we look at sodium batteries. The team's creation falls into a category of batteries known as molten salt batteries, which have been around in various forms for more than 50 years. As the emphasis on renewable energy continues to grow, scientists are very bullish on the potential of molten salt batteries to store energy owing to their relative affordability and reliance on commonly available materials. This could theoretically see them built on the larger scales needed to store vast amounts of renewable energy. Typical versions of these rely on a sodium sulfur chemistry and hold their electrodes at high temperatures to keep the electrolyte in a liquid molten state. Scientists in China and Australia have teamed up to develop their own version, which they say offers incredibly improved performance at room temperature. No need to keep it all super hot, just room temperature. That's enough. That's a huge change. When the sun isn't shining and the breeze isn't blowing, we need high quality storage solutions that don't cost the earth and are easily accessible 
on a local or regional level, said lead researcher Dr. Shen Long Zhao from the University of Sydney. We hope that by providing a technology that reduces cost, we can sooner reach a clean energy horizon. Now, I reported on some of this technology from the University of Sydney recently, but we didn't find out at that point in time just how high the energy density of these battery packs was. Therefore, the need to make another video because this really changes the way we look at this technology. Zhao and his colleagues set up to address a couple of shortcomings with current sodium sulfur batteries relating to their short life cycles and limited capacities, which has hindered their practicality in commercial applications. I mean, it's all well and good making an amazing battery, but if it only lasts for a year, then it doesn't make economic sense. The team's design makes use of carbon-based electrodes and a thermal degradation process known as pyrolysis to alter the reactions between the sulfur and the sodium. The result is a sodium sulfur battery with a high capacity at room temperature, which the team notes is around four times that of a lithium ion battery. Importantly, the battery demonstrated good stability and retained half of its capacity after 1000 cycles. This was described in the team's paper as unprecedented in history. So clearly you can see not only are these batteries incredibly high energy in energy density, but they will last now much longer than they would in the past. Thousand cycles and less than 50% energy degradation. Now that does need to be improved, of course, but it can be, and it will be. This is early days for this technology. The other key thing to remember is they've solved three issues here. Not only do they solve the energy density equation and also the longevity issue, which needs some more work, but they're getting there. They also solve the issue of heat. I mean, of course, People don't want to drive around with a molten battery in their car or have molten energy storage, which they th might think can catch on fire. The fact that it can operate at room temperature changes the equation. Our sodium battery has the potential to dramatically reduce costs while providing four times as much storage capacity, said Dr. Zhao. This is a significant breakthrough for renewable energy development, which, although reduces costs in the long term, has had several financial barriers to entry. Having demonstrated the technology in coin cell batteries in laboratory testing, the researchers are now working on pouch cell versions as they eye a path to commercial use. Now, about half of the world's EVs use pouch cells. Now, about 30% of the world's EVs currently use pouch cells. So you can see how this could be working in the future in EVs, maybe not too far away. Though it probably goes without saying, but the faster we can decarbonize, the better chances we have of capping warming, said Zhao. Storage solutions that are manufactured using plentiful resources like sodium, which can be processed from seawater, also have the potential to guarantee greater energy security more broadly and allow more countries to join the shift towards decarbonization. Now think about that. That's a really good point, right? If you live in, I don't know, New Zealand, or you live in you know, countries where they don't have the ability to produce batteries right now. This could change that drastically. You don't need lithium. You don't need to have the refined lithium. You can just get this salt, the sodium, get the sodium straight out of the seawater, which is everywhere. And you're probably thinking this was only tested so far in coin cell batteries. You'd be right. That's absolutely true. There's a long way to go here. But remember, it wasn't long ago the sodium batteries were just being talked about as a thing that might happen in the future. And now all of a sudden, it looks like the world's two biggest battery companies are set to use them in EVs next year. That is a dramatic change that nobody, and I mean nobody predicted, but it appears to be happening. So you never know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.